Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Cooking with Bobby. Today my special guest is Mike Fraser. What are we going to cook today, Mike? Chicken fajitas. Chicken we fajitas. have, yep, yeah, pretty simple, just sort of wraps, a bit of lettuce, a bit of tomato, pepper, onion, and obviously chicken. Okay. So what are we going to start with? Start with the chicken. So uh, take one of these. I've got four pound ninety threes worth of chicken here, so it's not a really expensive meal. Uh, I like to think of it as roughly a breast a person. A breast a person. A breast a person. <laughs> It's going to be that sort of show. So I'll give you one as well. Okay. And what we're going to do is take your knife and you want thin strips. Thin strips. Yeah. So do I want to cut long lengthways along it? Yep. Okay. Oh god, this is this is really tricky. It's just, just jumping out from a leaf. Well, you can use frozen chicken. Um, frozen chicken is obviously cheaper. I think you can get a kilogram bag from Tesco's or any other supermarket for about sort of three or four pounds. Because it's a quick recipe, um, it's something that you can sort of have with parties, it's nice finger food, so it's a little bit of excitement around the dinner table. Um, it, what you can also do is you can use a range of different spices, and then for that obviously you can have different flavours of chicken and stuff. I'm just going to wash my hands because yeah. obviously we don't want to have chicken juice all over the place. Okay, so we've got our cut chicken breast. We've got the cut chicken breast. Now ideally we'd have a bigger frying pan, but we have this one, this is a budget student frying pan. Uh, sort of one portion. So what we can do is we'll take one portion of chicken breast, we'll put the rest in the freezer um, and we'll just cook one portion at the moment. So bung that on the hob. And I've got a little bit of oil. Okay. What sort of temperature do you want the hob on? Sort of high as it goes? Just high. Uh, high. You want it as not the highest. You should never really fry on the highest. So we're just going to lay that out in the pan. You just want to sort of fill the hole of the bottom of the pan with chicken essentially? Yep. You don't want to stack it up at all? No, uh, you want, I mean, you, you just want the chicken to cook as quickly as possible, really. So, that would probably be enough. I'm going to wash my hands again. <laughs> now, it's important to wash your hands after cutting chicken because chicken can give you salmonella. Okay. Um, so, you okay. always want to make sure that you keep everything clean. Okay. So, if you put your chicken on there, yep. and then if you wash that one, and then we can uh, cut some of the veg up. So, whilst that is sort of starting, we're starting to see the chicken go white. Yep. Uh, what we want to do is, I, I've got some spice here. Now this is a original smoky barbecue Elder Paso kit. You can use you can use any sort of spice you want. Um, I'm just going to chuck about half of this in on top. There's something you can buy. You can buy lamb's hearts, which are considerably cheaper than chicken. Um, it's just rich lamb meat, so it's not too, it's not bony, it's not really that fatty. So you can cut that up. But again, that's just personal preference. You can do whatever you like, really. So while we're doing that, what you're going to now do is cut an onion. Okay. So we're going for onion rings. Onion rings. How do I go about making onion oh, rings? I'll show you. <laughs> so I'm going to start off by cutting each end off. Yep. I noticed today we're using a red onion. I, I prefer red onion. Red onion's a little bit more expensive than white onion. But whenever you buy onions, always make sure to buy them as loose onions. Because it's onion. uh, just a lot cheaper. Go around the outside and you can just peel it. Oh, uh, okay. So you want to get down to the purple layer of the onion, that's the... Yep. Yeah. Usually onions can rot as well if you leave them in there for too long. And underneath you can see it's nice and shiny. Okay. So that's ideal. So now we just take that, not dicing it, just, just <laughs> cutting it on one side. And then break them apart. Okay, it just forms straight into onion rings. Yep. Oh, fantastic. I'll give you a quick hand. The outer ones will be a little bit looser, just look at that. Um, just where I made the score in the skin. That's just one, one, last one there. Let's pop that out. Oh. Awesome. There we go. Cool. And then just bung that in as well. Now we're going to do a pepper. I'm only going to use half a pepper, but we're not going to cook this. We're going to use this in the wraps themselves, just raw, because it gives it a bit of crunch as well. Okay. So, straight down the middle. We'll get rid of that bit for the moment. You know, cut out the central core, which is the bit with all the seeds in. All right, so you're left with the pepper skin. That's yep, the bit you that you want. Yeah, you just want the skin. Always make sure to wash vegetables first. Right, and again, we're going for strips with this as well. I'll cut that one around. If you haven't got a serrated knife like this, uh, this isn't a serrated knife, then if you turn it over, you get a lot more cut with that, whereas if you're running along oh, the it's skin... Tried to, it's quite hard to penetrate yeah. the skin on the outside. Yeah. So if you haven't got a serrated knife, 
So I'm laughing at the word penetrate. If you haven't got a serrated <laughs> knife, then um, just turn it over and cut it that way. There we go. Okay. So bung that on a plate. And then we're going to do the same with the tomato. So if you just want to sure. cut that up, uh, if you could dice it. So all I'm doing here is I'm just keeping it sort of in motion. We don't want it to burn or anything. Uh, you want the chicken to sort of be a golden brown. I mean, this is starting to go almost the right colour, but that's more from the seasoning. So you want to make sure your chicken's properly cooked. How are you going with the tomato? Not bad. It's, it's, it's in <laughs> relatively sized chunks. That's I've fine. not yet become an expert in cutting over the last few episodes. Yeah. I don't know how large a sort of chunks you want it in. Is that sort that's of That's fine. That's ideal. Yeah, that's, that's ideal. fine. I'll just take that now. Yeah. If you want to take over. Yep. Bung that in. Okay, now the lettuce. Now, many people do their lettuce in different ways. I was always brought up that you take lettuce off and then that is your lettuce. It's not ideal because you end up with large lettuce leaves all over the place. So what I like to do, for fajitas anyway, just give that a quick rinse. Um, if you don't mind eating bugs, then you don't have to wash it. But <laughs> and then we're just going to cut this into strips as well. Okay. I suppose it all makes it easier at the end when you want to put it inside yep. a tortilla wrap, doesn't it? And obviously so we're not going to cook for lettuce. No, no. <laughs> you, can, you can do. I you mean, if you lettuce. like cooked lettuce, then by all means go for it. It's not, it's not particularly great. It's basically just leaving that for two or three minutes just to cook down a little bit. So. Okay. Okay, so this is pretty much done. Um, what we're going to do, just leaving that for another 30 seconds or so, we now take our wraps. We have here Tesco value, everyday value for eight tortilla wraps. You can get flavoured ones, you can get all sorts of different sort of, I mean they do sort of onion and garlic and everything like that. You find plain wraps are fine though? Just Yeah, I mean it's personal preference again really, it just depends what you like. But put the wraps on a plate and we then go and find your microwave. Okay, so just bong them in the microwave with a plate that just about fits and you want that on there for about 30 seconds or so. If you get your head in there Bobby you can start to actually sort of smell the different flavours because it was quite barbecue pungent at the beginning. Oh, but that, that's got... really starting to... That smells really good. Now we have warmed the wraps up ever so slightly. Oh that's good. Take that off the heat. Okay. And we'll put that on a plate. And that is our centre of this is, this mix. Is, yeah, this is, this is the mix already done. Just put this in a little tub and freeze that if you wanted to. So, now we're going to make wraps. I swear there's like 50 different ways that you can fold a fajita. There are, there are. I mean, again, have it however you want really. So, principal thing is you need a wrap. So, okay. there's your so wrap. I've got, I've got my wrap. I'll make mine on here. Ooh, so, nice. there's got all the things we cut up earlier. So, I like to start with a bit of sort of the lettuce and stuff. Just give it a bit of a bed. Now, what we're aiming for Start on one side of the circle and you want to have about an inch or so gap at the base. Okay. Very mathematical. So don't overfill it. You want to make sure that you've got just enough space in it as well. I've got here some creme fraiche. You can use sour cream if you prefer. You just take a few scoops of that. And then we take our mix. So as we cut the chicken earlier, the benefit being obviously that they're in strips. So you really don't want that much chicken? You, you don't need it. too much at all. Right, now what we do is we take the side opposite the creme fraiche and just fold that over, trying to sort of bring it down and just so bring it, it down, into a little don't, bit of the line. Don't fold it over right to the no, end. No, not right to the edge. Okay. And we then take the base where you've got that sort of inch gap. Yeah. Fold that at 45 degrees. 45 degrees, so make a nice like triangle. So, yep. And then you fold it again to 90 degrees. Loosely, you don't want to make sure you don't put a hole in the base of your wrap. That's why we've heated them up. They're then a little bit more malleable when they're warm. Okay. Just take the other side and fold that round. So now for the moment of truth. That, that tastes really good. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you like what you've seen here and would like to give it a go cooking it yourself, all the recipes can be found on our website. Thank you for watching. I've been Bobby, and this is Mike, and you've been watching Stag TV. Oh. Oh.